Good morning, friends. Um, today, I thought I would go live really quick. I have to jump in the shower, but um, I was making cakes this morning for um, our team recipe night tonight, and um, I'm so excited to bake with my fellow team members. Um, so once a month, we get together and we cook and bake together, or cook or bake together. Um, but tonight, we're doing both. We're gonna do a hide the turkey ring, um, which is a super fun recipe to do with your leftover turkey because Thanksgiving is next week. Hello. Can you believe it? Um, but I wanted to just tell you guys about this right here. And we're going to go live later at our meeting, um, at our recipe night. And we'll show you all the, um, the ganache and all that stuff in the slow cooker stand. But I wanted to talk about why you should freeze your cakes and when to freeze your cakes. So... Um, as you can see, I made some, uh, the polluted, we're not supposed to say bun because that is, um, uh, copywritten or whatever. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we have a mini fluted cake pan. How pretty is it? I mean, it's so pretty. You can hang it on the wall, right? Um, so we have the mini fluted cake pan. I, um, I spritzed it with a little bit of vegetable oil and I, um, I baked our cakes. So they're cooling. They just came out of the oven. I flipped them out and how pretty are they? Hello, gorgeous, right? Perfect every time. Um, but so I freeze my cakes. This is something I've been doing for like 20 years. Uh, I worked at, I know a lot of you don't know this, but when I lived in New York, I worked at a bakery and they taught us a few tips um, or they taught me a few tips while I was working there. I actually assembled uh, the cakes for the wedding cakes. It was really fun. I didn't ice them, but I was like the assembler whatever. Um, but what you want to do is when your cakes come out of the oven, let them cool in the pan for a few minutes and then flip them out and let them cool on the rack for a few minutes. And then what you do is you take a Ziploc bag. Hold on, let me get one here. Uh, here we go. Nope, that's not the right side. I mean, who here has like a million Ziploc bags? Hello. Here we go. Where's the other one? Anyway, we'll just use this one for right now. I have the half gallons. <laughs> Love these guys. But anyway, you want to take them and put them in the bag while they're still warm and then put them in the freezer. So what that does is it locks in that moisture and it will keep your cakes super moist. I know I don't like that word either, but it's very relevant for this conversation. So um, just stick them in the bag close it and then throw them right in the freezer just like that while they're still warm and it's going to lock in that moisture. So these are the ones I made the other day, but they'll stay in your freezer for up to six months. So if you have a party coming up or holidays are coming up and you don't want to bake all your stuff the day or day before or the day of, bake them now, stick them in Ziploc freezer bags while they're still warm and stick them in the freezer and then they'll defrost in like five or 10 minutes, they, they defrost super quick. Um, I made these on Friday and I served them last night. And what we did was we had some ganache, which was just some heavy cream and some chocolate chips. And um, they just topped their cakes with a ganache and then they uh, did some sprinkles. It was so much fun in our freezer roll workshop. I did, Jill, oh my gosh, it was 20 years ago. It was in Comac. Um, Oh my gosh, I don't even remember the name of the store and I don't remember um, exactly where it was. It was so long. I can't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. So <laughs> I did, Jill. I worked there and I also worked at um, this, is it called? No, was it called the Spare Rib? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. But I also worked at a restaurant. I was a line cook. I know, crazy town, right? I was like born for Pampered Chef, apparently. I've been doing like the things that leading up to Pamper Chef my whole life and didn't even know it. I actually just had that conversation with somebody else. Like when I was younger, when I was 14, I worked at Nathan's. And then when I was 15, I worked at McDonald's doing kids parties in the play place. Wait for it. When I was 16, I started working at Laser Tag doing parties for the kids. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> I worked at a bank and I worked at Laser Tag for a while. And then I worked at um, the bank, the bakery, and the, res the restaurant. And then I moved here. So, so funny. Um, but yeah, and now I'm a pampered chef. How hilarious is that? It's like setting me up for my future. 
Um, but yeah, so great tip, right? So stick your cakes in the freezer bags um, while they're still warm. It'll lock in that moisture. You're gonna have super fluffy, delicious moist cakes when you go into um, when you go in. Uh, eat them. Also, it's easier to ice a cake when it's frozen. It's also easier if you want to carve the cake while it's frozen. So just a few other tips for this holiday season. Um, you guys, if you want to order anything, remember there's always three ways to get your products. Uh, you can host a party and um, get them free or discounted. You could join my team and get them free in your kit. Or you can always go to my website and uh, spend $75 or more and you're going to get a free gift from Pampered Chef. Plus, I send you a free gift in the mail. Um, so remember that, always three ways to get your products. And um, if you want anything for your Thanksgiving meal, uh, be sure to order by like tomorrow, I would say. And you'll probably have it by Saturday, if not uh, the latest by next Tuesday. So um, I know that I actually don't have my three-piece rectangular set anymore. I don't know what happened to it. I have the smallest one not sure where the other two went so i'm going to be ordering <laughs> the uh, rectangular um set so it's like the small little guy the medium size rectangular baker and then the large rectangular baker like your 13 by 9. so i need those for the holidays because i just found out yesterday i'll be cooking a thanksgiving dinner so hopefully um you guys have a great week let me know um, if you have any questions and um I will talk to you guys later. Remember, my website is pamburchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen. Okay, guys. Um, and if you're interested in coming to our team night tonight, our recipe night, we're going to have a blast. We're going to be baking cookies, icing some cakes, and making a turkey ring. Um, so I'm going to go jump in the shower now. Okay, bye, guys.